morning. It is day nine. Um, I've been awake since about two o'clock this morning and we have a situation. <laughs> we, um, the wind's pretty bad here this morning. It's been really bad all night and um, some of my, <laughs> my tent guy lines have snapped. Yeah, so I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna yell because there's no point staying in here when it's this windy. So I may as well just start hiking. <laughs> so I've got my headlight, I have my torch. I'm gonna somehow try and get this tent put away with all my things in it. Yeah, this isn't the kind of morning I was hoping for, but it, it's part of the adventure. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and try and put my tent down <laughs> in this wind. Um, I think there's rain dew as well later. At least I get to wear my rain jacket. I've not worn that yet. <laughs> today um what an experience that was last night i probably started going to sleep about nine o'clock and it was quite windy then but about two o'clock in the morning the tent was just going crazy it was shaking all over the place the sides had completely caved in um it was <laughs> it was really bad and then jd and lisa who were camping really near me they kind of not knocked on my door but basically came to the side of my tent saying that half of my tent was flying off so my guy lines had broken it had all collapsed in they headed off because theirs was just collapsed as well so packing the tent away was hilarious because one tip if you ever <laughs> go camping and you don't know this already and it's windy and I can't believe how stupid I was I went round the corner been morning went to the toilet and then I turned around and my tent was <laughs> basically in the air so it had come off the ground because my bag was on the outside of my tent so top tip of the day put your backpack in your tent when it's windy so it won't fly off so yeah I've been flying a kite all morning it was quite hilarious but I couldn't get fuel canisters yesterday either in Julian so another tip is if you're going into town and there's a lot of hiker there go and get your fuel canister because there was none left so I've got no hot coffee no hot porridge this morning not that I could have probably lit it anyway it was that windy so I've had a cliff bar and just some water for breakfast and I've got some more bars in my bag but I'm hoping to make some good mileage today and then get into Warner Springs tomorrow lunchtime hopefully I've got a package there to pick up from the post office and then I'll get back on trail straight after that but yeah, it was it was an interesting night, but it was so lovely because we had dinner dinner together, which was kind of like um, I had a vegan jerky um, strip and a Lenny and Larry cookie and some trail mix. That was my dinner last night. I know it's a little bit pitiful, but it's calories and it's food and everything's fine. And I haven't even had coffee this morning, so my eyes are still really tired. I do need coffee usually to wake myself up on the morning. Um, but I've got some of these green superfood little sachets so I might mix one of those in my smart water bottle later so at least it might give me some kind of kick but it is a beautiful morning it was so cold before I couldn't feel my fingers I've actually got my shirt my puffy my rain jacket my gloves my hat I had my hood up it was freezing but it is really nice now um, I'm out hiking nice and early so that does feel good I'd like being out early actually I'm gonna crack on and keep warm and I will keep you posted when the wind dies down a little bit hopefully and try not to talk too much because I know it can be a bit irritating on camera even though I've got one of those little fuzzy things on my mic it's probably still a little bit crackly.
trail is so pretty this morning. I honestly don't think a landscaper could have done this better. It is absolutely gorgeous. Everything's just in bloom. Let me show you here on the trail look. It's just so pretty. wasn't expecting anything like this in the desert and I think it's because there's been a lot of rain this year so I feel very lucky to be out here at this time of year. It's felt so strange on trail today. It has been so quiet. I've hardly passed anybody. I think I've probably only passed about two people all day. There's not been anyone in front of me or behind me. It's been very strange, I think, because there's been so many people in the first few days when you first set off on trail, and now all of a sudden it's just silence. Um, the weather's been pretty awful today. I've hardly managed to vlog anything because it's been so windy. So I've been concentrating because I've been all, on all the ridges today. So I've been quite careful with my sticks and been good. I kept my camera away. But it has been an amazing walk today. It is, everything's so green and there's birds flying everywhere, butterflies, caterpillars, all the pretty flowers are in bloom. It's a happy day. It really is a happy day. I do, I'm not gonna lie, I feel exhausted today. I feel so tired. I think it's because of lack of sleep last night and the night before. So I'm sure I'll sleep well tonight. Um, unless it was just because I couldn't have coffee this morning, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to start doing that cold coffee thing that I've seen people do. But I just couldn't bring myself to do that this morning when I left camp. But let me show you the views from where I'm standing. It's just not what you expect to see in the desert, is it? It's more like, it's actually like being back at home. It's like the Peak District in England. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's so nice. So this has been the trail this morning. It's literally been walking in all the mist and the wind. And the trail has come from over there somewhere and it's kind of zigzagged round. And then I don't know if you can see, but up here, it kind of comes all the way around here, like there. It's just kind of been wiggling, wiggling up the whole day. And then over there, through here, <laughs> and carrying on going up into the mist. I've just realised I don't think I gave you an update about Julian. So I arrived in Julian about midday. So I hitchhiked in um, with another couple of girls. And well, we started hitchhiking 
but then this lovely chap called Ghost decided to take us um, and he's apparently a bit of a legend on the trail for giving people lifts and he's just an amazing trail angel so he gave us a lift into Julian where we got a room I shared with two of the girls and had some food I did a resupply I edited some videos so because it was only half a day it's classed as a Nero not a full zero and then the next morning um, another Nero and then headed it back on trail in about lunchtime again so two Nero's back to back so nearly a full zero I'm not quite sure how it all works yet with this whole sleeping over thing to do a full zero I'm presuming you have to do two nights but I'm sure I'll figure it out but town was good but mainly for the reason of getting things that you need I'm charging things up again getting my editing done getting some videos out getting some photographs done um, contacting people that you love and speaking to people for a bit longer than you can on trail because you're always limited with battery power so all that was really good but I must admit it was lovely getting back on trail again it feels strange being in town it's as if I don't know my my head felt too busy with everything it was just it was like information overload all of a sudden normal life carries on and you forget that I mean I know I've only been out a week but yeah it was kind of crazy going into town and dealing with all the the chaos again but it is nice to be back out and I'm, I'm kind of glad that I'm having a quiet day today because it just gives you time to think and to enjoy it again and it started raining so I'm gonna put the camera away and carry on hiking so this is actually a little bit scary um, I'm walking along this ridge here let me show you quite narrow quite steep and I've got all this horrendous weather coming at me on this tiny little path and I'm shuffling because I don't want to walk and film at the same time but some places are quite steep drops <laughs> so it's a little bit it's a bit challenging to say the least um, I wasn't expecting this in the desert <laughs> I was hoping to top up my tan look what I've just come across it's very strange a little cave how strange is that it's not what I was expecting to see up here I'm over 4,500 feet and there's a little cave <laughs> that is really spooky I don't know if there's anything that lives in there but yeah I literally just walked around the corner I was like, what's that? I thought it was like a little tent spot at first. But yeah, it's a little cave. I have literally just come out of the clouds. It was so cold, so windy. Um, I'm heading down now, so it should get a little bit better, I'm hoping. It seems to be a few clear skies out. Um, yeah, I might end up having to <clears throat> camp a little bit early tonight because my tent snapped, one of the guy lines snapped in the night so I might have to do a bit of repairing when I get to camp tonight oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna get through there with the camera in hand <laughs>